What up, gamers? Mace from Team Headkick. I'm about to bring you another Invincible boss from Borderlands 2. This is Hyperius the Invincible. He is uber, uber, uber hard to beat. I am not even messing around a little bit. We tried this ten times. We failed ten times. And we did it with four people, all with conference calls, B-Shields, all the uber, uber elite weapons that we have from Terramorphous and beating the game. All legendary, all orange. And we lost... Every time fighting this guy. He is no joke. Me and my buddy Raceland are taking him on now. Two of us. We're going to show you exactly how we did it. Uh, and then there's another invincible boss after this guy named G or G. He is absolutely insane too. But I'm just going to kind of talk you through this process. We have conference calls. We have amazing guns. All orange weapons. Huge damage. And I actually respect my commando. This has helped me a lot. I respect him to have two turrets with shields. And if you have the commando class, I'm very much going to suggest that. The way to fight this guy is to grind him. You are going to have to keep attacking his minions, but only when they are tethered. When you see that orange link to him, you can do damage to both them and to him. But focus on them. You're going to focus on them until they're all dead, and you're going to keep running away. If you don't do it, you're screwed. And I can tell you right now, if you're trying to do this guy by yourself, solo, good fucking luck. I don't think anyone can do that. Because this is not about having uber elite weapons. We have that. Um, it's about grinding. And when you have two people or more... You can actually get Hyperius to focus on them. You can run away. You're going to see this is what me and Raceland do. He's the Gunzerker class. I'm the Commando class. And guys, me and him combined can take Terramorphous down in about 25 seconds. We can take Warrior down in about 15 seconds. You're going to see it takes us forever to take Hyperius down. Uh, so once you make all the mechs repair that are tethered to him, you can actually do damage to him, you'll see. You're not going to do a ton of damage to him, but you'll do more than you do when he's tethered. When he's tethered, you're going to do very little damage to him, so don't waste your time. You want to stay to the outskirts, you're going to see that I'm going to get my turrets out continuously. And the reason why the two turret with shield is so important is you will be able to defend or run away from his rockets. And believe it or not, the rockets are nasty. They are one-shot kills. They will knock you down no matter how big and badass your shield is. I've got a shield that's got over 60,000 uh, points. And believe it or not, I actually unequipped my B shield. It was much, much easier this way. But you're going to want to slag him. You're going to want to use singularity grenades. You'll see this a lot. And it's one thing that will help a ton is to get all these mechs pulled together and then just do damage. But like I said, guys, this is a grinder. You're going to see I get downed here. Uh, and in several attempts, once you get down, you're going to see just a melee of shit flying at us. Um, it really is just biding your time and being lucky. Because once you're down, it's very easy for him to kill you. It's very easy for his mechs to kill you. So the whole trick here is grind it out. Try not to go down. And the way you can do that is by keep moving. Basically, don't ever stop moving unless he's not focused on you. Uh, but the first couple of minutes, really, is just going to be taking out his minions, his little mechs. And you've got to take them out in order to do real damage to him. I've seen a couple of other people say, no, that's not the case, and try to take him out. You can take him out without taking out his minions, but it will take you much longer. Prepare for a 20 or 30 minute fight. It's not going to happen easily. And like I said, you can see that we have conference calls, uberly overpowered guns here, and this guy is still just unbelievably tough. Unbelievably tough. So let me talk about the DLC a little bit. The Borderlands 2 new DLC, which is the Pirates Booty Missions. Uh, fantastic downloadable content. If you like Borderlands 2, go get it. If you got the season pass, you already have it. But if you don't, it is definitely worth it. There's about 10 or 12 chapters in the new missions. It's all set in a pirate landscape. It's cool. You get speeders, kind of like Star Wars. Kind of reminds me of like Tatooine meets uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, it's still futuristic. It's still Borderlands. You get a cool little land, land speeder, all that fun stuff. Uh, but the new humor, the new characters are awesome. The new bosses are insane. This guy, Hyperius, is a nightmare. 
And he's really just a grinding mission. So you're gonna see we've taken down all of his mechs now, except for one. Because they're tethered together, we still gotta focus on this mech. If they weren't tethered, then yeah. We could focus on Hyperius, but we can't yet. He does get way more badass, chases you, jumps at you, and brings a whole bunch of more nastiness to the fight. One thing I gotta warn you guys too ahead of time. I already told you I have respect. I've already told you what we've used here. Um, but one thing you're gonna find is you will run out of ammo very easily. The sheer amount of ammo that you need is mind-blowing. It is mind-blowing. But anyway, we've taken all of his mechs out now. We've got him down to about half health. Uh, Raceland's really focusing on all of his gun zerking skills. When he jumps at you, run the fuck away. Believe me, it doesn't matter what shield you have. It does not matter what guns you have. If you stick around to fight this guy close proximity, you are done. He will shit on you, teabag, and laugh in your face. So you're going to see I run away quite a bit. Whenever he's focused on me, I'm just going to sprint away. You don't want to run in a front line. You want to actually strafe or use a circle and stay away from your other buddy. Whoever you have in here fighting with you, if you have four, even better, because that will draw the focus of Hyperius to multiple different people. Because uh, if he just focuses on you, you're screwed. But basically, we're just going to keep grinding here. This is exactly what you need to do. This is my uber legendary rocket launcher. It is beyond badass. It does almost a million points of damage uh, per shot. It does like 200,000 times nine or something like that. It is a fucking awesome rocket launcher. So I'm going to utilize that to take him down towards the end here. Uh, but this is really it, guys. It is run and gun. You are going to keep moving. You are going to focus your fire on his little minions when they are tethered so you can do damage to them. When they're not tethered, let them repair themselves because you'll only do a little bit of damage. And that's it, guys. That is the death of Hyperius. You see, even with Uber Elite weapons, it took us a good, I don't know, six, seven minutes. Uh, but that's it, guys. I hope you enjoy it. He's going to drop some of those Seraphim crystals, which are the new currency. You'll get some cool class mods and all that fun stuff. You can only fight him once a day. But, guys, I wish you luck. He is incredibly hard boss. He makes Terramorphus look like a friggin' pussy. Terramorphus is nothing compared to this guy. That's it, guys. It's Hyperius. That is the death. I hope you enjoyed it. It's your boy Mace from Team Headkick. Have a great day. Peace.